Okay. Um, remember the question I asked you before. What is it that comes to mind for you about your ideal lifestyle? How do you want to be living in three or four years when you finish university and you basically have a choice with this MIT or Harvard degree to go anywhere in the world? What is it that's going to make you choose one place as opposed to another? I'd like to be in different places, uh, in different stages of my life. So I believe the place I'd like to be in should allow me to be there for in different stages of my life. In order to accommodate that sort of flexibility, there needs to be a certain diversity of age groups and different types of people. But I think in order to, to create a, an international community, you need that sense of of openness to different uh -huh. cultures. The town is becoming more and more of an employment center and they're not able to actually lodge to house the employees within the city anymore. So more and more of them are going outside. What is your opinion about the relationship between where you live and where you work? How do you want that to be? Is it the American model where you have you know, your house out in the burbs and you're working downtown, would you like to be in a loft where you can go 20 meters and you're in your place of work, or go down the stairs? No, no. Oh my god. We need to keep in mind what kind of companies and what kind of uh, high value job we want to create here. We should uh, probably more focus on, on a kind of uh, technopole, uh, I should say globally connected, globalization mm -hmm. than locally connected to Alcatel and, uh, and Sofia Antipolis. With GPS, I can go anywhere. We keep talking about businesses, and obviously you need to attract business to attract people and to sustain a community, but when you use the word technopole, I mean, I do 
envision some place that's not necessarily where people would want to live or do like, I, I don't know what the balance is between the business and the and housing and I also don't know what kind of people we're trying to attract one thing that was originally said was trying to revive the image of Cannes as a place for artists and the kind of businesses and the kind of wealthy people that these businesses attract often um, don't allow for people like artists to live in these places, you know? I mean, it's a very different demographic with different resources. It's interesting to point out in Amsterdam again, there's a very um, interesting uh, scheme that the city actually owns lots of housing and rents it, and they're very, very specific which kind of demographic goes into each apartment. They are creating mixture. The whole part of Amsterdam owns based on gas fabrics, which has been renovated. Artists, uh, people from TV and media uh, arts were getting 70% uh, of the full price of uh, the buildings if they were to move in that area. The idea of a technopole and artist, there are differences, but I think one thing we're seeing in places like the Media Lab is that I mean, art does embrace technology in a lot of ways, and there is a certain demographic now that is professional and yet artist at the same time. The film industry is not based in Cannes. It is just the film festival that goes on here. The film industry in France is based in Paris. Mais ce qui est très important aussi pour le succès d'une activité, c'est l'image. Il n'y a pas de film industry, mais l'image du Cannes, c'est film. There's a very important element. There's a big gap in the image of Cannes. Internationally, Cannes is seen as this center of film, center of all kinds of business transactions as well because of its trade fairs. It's actually number two in France after Paris. But the significance of the trade fairs here, fewer people but more important people come to the trade fairs here than in Paris. So the image of Cannes is actually a place of transacting business and of film and ambiguity about production, but there's you know, the trade fair that, that is certainly a festival. Within France it's not perceived as that, it's perceived as basically a kind of place to retire and to go on holidays. So the comment was that if we do create something linked to education, it will have a, a, a more um, successful tie probably outside of France than within France. But why not? Ah! <laughs>